So we just happened to be walking down here showing our friend around who's coming to visit. And Hi. there was a cloud of bees in the air. And we knew this was a this itself was a swarm that we captured over in Peachtree City last year, last fall. But it's so strong, we knew we were supposed to split it and uh, we just didn't, you know, bad beekeeping. But uh, luckily they swarmed just, just beyond uh, the hive here. And we're in the process of moving them into a new hive. So we got a nice big uh, cluster of bees here. And we're going to uh, attempt to move them over just a little ways uh, into another hive, a new hive. So, here we go. This is going to be, I'm going to need to move this over just a little, actually not. Um, I'm going to try to get under here and clip it off beyond over there. I think what we're going to need to do is have you stand here and hold up. And I'll go over here. You want to spray the swarm first? <clears throat> Give them something to do. We're going to spray them with some sugar water just to keep them occupied and interested. Just sugar water. Can you reach up there now? Can you actually reach that branch physically? No. No. Okay. We're going to need to go get a ladder. We'll be right back. Alright, we're going to flip this off and then take this over to the new high that we have. I'm going to try to cut it a little bit and then reach up and grab it before it's all the way through. Do you guys need another hand? No. Okay. I'm trying to be careful, but it's gonna jostle. let that sit up there while they reorganize. We're gonna have to let them find their swarm again. Is that still gonna stay up by itself? Okay. Try to let go slowly, see if it stays up. Okay, let's give them a few minutes to re over here. Right. And this is when the friend is glad that he's back here. Because yeah. the friend doesn't have gloves on. Yeah. So... They're yeah. not interested in stinging anybody right now because they're, they're get back to their they have because... neither honey nor hive to defend. But still when you feel a pound of bees hit your foot. Yep. It's a little bit disconcerting. <laughs> I saw that. I closed my eyes. thump. I'm like, I ooh. I just yeah. closed my eyes and that one I'm like, yep, it's gonna be fine. Well this needs to come out anyways. But, uh... Yeah. I figure what we don't use from the squirt bottle, I'll add to that big jug and that way they'll I'll make, I'll make more care about the day, but Alright, have they recombobulated up there? I'll give them a couple more minutes. I mean, they're mostly up there, but otherwise we're going to have stragglers left to come get later. Yeah. <laughs> but you can see how it's going to work. We're going to cut that off, try not to drop the bees here. Sure, Take carry it over them over. There, shake and, yeah. Sure. There's another technique where you can actually put them outside of the hive and they'll theoretically march in. Oh. We're not really that trusting of them, which is why we just shake them. Sure. And when you shake them, they will start flying, but the queen, if you get the queen to drop in, she's one step. Then you, you got it. They're going to go after her. Right. In fact, she's the pheromone on that branch, so everybody that you don't get in now... Is going to be looking for on the branch. Was on a pine branch 
was too high to cut and with someone else's mind wrench they just brushed it under the rock. And then this one is an established hive that they've had for. This was the this was the hive that they came out of. This one this hive just basically reproduced. It just completed its reproduction cycle by sending a swarm out. So what happens is the the queen that was the original queen with this hive, um, the the worker bees decide that they're getting too cramped in there, and so what they do is they they cut the queen off of food because she's too fat to fly while she's laying condition. And then they cut her off of food, they chase her around the hive to put her on a little queen exercise program, loses weight until she's fit to fly. And at this time they're also, they've picked out some new eggs that they know will become good queens because they can tell better than any human and they started feeding the new eggs, the larva, the royal jelly. In the meantime they are feeding up new queens with queen cells, several new queens. And then the old queen leaves, there's been a, a few scout bees that have decided to basically congregate on the branch here until the scouts go out now and they're looking for a permanent home. And when they find a good permanent home, they'll come back and say, hey, over here, follow us, and uh, they fly away. And then um, they form a new colony. So basically the old queen goes with the swarm and the old colony, the one that's left behind, raises a new queen. And how much does that swarm weigh, the one that's in the tree? A couple pounds. Nice. Four pounds, maybe? A few pounds. But about 60% of the bees leave with the swarm, and 40% are left behind. But the ones that are left behind are actually in a better position because they have both honey and eggs, fresh eggs. She's left a whole bunch of fresh eggs and in there. And drawn out comb. And drawn out comb. So they have a really nice home, and they're going to be able to very easily raise themselves and clean. Nice. All right. <laughs> Yeah. 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 You got it? You can, you can handle it? You want to pick up the, the end off by the right elbow so it's less grabby on the end of the Over here? Okay, so let me get over there. Actually, it's going to be better just to, uh, it'll be more jostling in order to get it off. So just try to hang out with them all reading body. Awesome. You're doing great. Looking good. <laughs> Don't laugh. Or cry or scream and flail your arms. Didn't think beekeepers could be jackets, did you? Oh yeah. You know, when you just feel so much safer. Right. So you even though you know they're not gonna sting you. It's still kind of disconcerting to have a big bunch of bees, cloud of bees flying around you. Yeah, I imagine. <laughs> and these guys you got to kind of watch too because we're now in their space exuding carbon dioxide and, you know, they're stressed out already because they just had, you know, half your colony just leaves on you. Looking good though, there. there's still some on the ground, they're all uh, trying to take back off again. Let me see if I can get up here and sneak over from you. 
The, uh, a new hive set up with some drawn comb and some uh, foundation, and I got a uh, another large uh, um, deep super on top of there. Act as a funnel when we drop them in. Get one more shot on my hand. This is so cool. Really neat. It feels funny. It feels good. I like it. That's still kind of tippy. Do you want to try to get that? No, it's because I had the thing. It's sort of off center now too. say goodbye to the swarm it's going to become hopefully become a hive if we get the queen in there and we can get them all into this box we're going to be in really good shape they want to live there forever they might they still have to decide they want to be here and that's what they want to do but maybe i'll just leave it just tip it in there and just let them instead of shaking just let them walk you know see how they feel now i hopefully shook the queen off with me so if the queen is in the box now, all the bees will flock to her. Jennifer's giving them a little squirt with the sugar water. The sound is amazing from here. The buzz. And this is a happy buzz. These are still, the pitch of it will go up if they get pissed off. 
irritated. Can you say pissed off on PBS? I was just going to say <laughs> irritated. <laughs> Here, I'll try to, I'll try to get these guys off, make sure the queen's not left on there, especially. You want to bring it right over to the other one so we can bobble it on there? Bring it over there again? Yeah. And if this group gets separated from their queen and let's say that she got left behind, then she won't return to her old hive. Nope. So either try to find her because she's letting out a pheromone, so they should be able to find her sure. before the whole swarm will fail. But with no queen, they definitely won't stay here because they can't, there's no one to lay an egg at this point to start a new queen. I don't know if you can see, they're starting to actually drink some of the little sugar water that I put on the side. They're just like, oh, it's not so bad. I think this is the queen, hon. Find her? I think so. Is he that or a drone? I need to see his little face. Anything right around in here? The wings Where? outspread? Where? I see that. Looks like a drone. Is it a drone? He's got big eyes. Usually drones don't swarm with them. I think he just came along for the ride. Yeah, probably. With any luck, the queen will have gone down in there. Okay, and there he goes. You see, there's one clumping on top of it. Yeah. But what we can do now is just close this up, and hopefully they'll go down. Move their way down into the hive, and we'll give them. We're gonna feed them some sugar water so they can get started right away. I'm gonna go ahead and just pour the rest of this into the. I'm gonna try to sweep them down in so that we can put a top cover on without squishing too many. They've got a hard enough job in front of them already. But really, as long as the queen is in there, they're in great shape because we have the drawn out comb for them. 